We all know winter's coming now that the forest has started to turn that beautiful yellow and brown goldy goodness. But with that comes cold weather, water, mud, grit, and a lot of rain, as you know, here in the UK. So I thought it was time that I actually got some proper winter mountain bike clothing. The reason for that is having just done my Mias mountain bike leaders course, which I passed. Thank you for all comments that you sent me, thanking me on Facebook and social media. It means a lot. So we've gone for some winter clothing, but today's video, we won't be looking at this jacket or this onesie. We'll be looking at the feet, because my feet, even though I had waterproof socks on, they got wet and they were cold. It's time for booty to put on some booties. The North Wave Poncho has been my shoe of choice. Absolutely rock solid, super, super sticky on the bottom. They're comfortable. The grip on these is fantastic. It almost feels like you're clipped in sometimes, but the only downfall to these really, these are not waterproof. You only have to go through the slightest of streams or even get a little bit of water or through a puddle and your feet get wet through and they stay wet through. So it's time to meet the new king, the new shoe that everybody's talking about. And that is, the 510 Track GTX from Adidas. And the biggest selling point of this shoe, of course, as we all know, is that it's Gore-Tex, meaning this is very, very waterproof, but it also enables airflow to go from the inside of the shoe to the outside. What I can say is one of the best selling points of this is it actually looks and feels just like a normal trainer. Well, looking at other reviews on the internet, a lot of people said that they were really difficult to get on and off, almost like trying to get on a wet wetsuit, if that makes sense. Well, I found exactly the same, but that's because I'd forgotten to undo the Velcro strap on the side. Once you undo that, you can put these on quite easily. Going for a walk around the woods, climbing both up steep and down hills, and running around and basically treating these like a trail shoe, extremely comfortable. There was no rubbing or chafing. And the UK sizes were absolutely spot on. I'm size nine and these fit me perfectly. Everybody talks about these as being the best mountain bike shoe you can buy. I'm not gonna be reviewing these till later into the video because you can look at these, wear them around the house and clump around all you want. But until we actually get on the trail, get these onto some pedals, we're not gonna know whether this is the definitive mountain bike winter shoe. So here's our first quick test off the bike, running through some deep, muddy puddles. Obviously, you're not gonna be getting your feet as far into the water as this, but I thought for the video, it was essential that we got these almost up to the ankle depth to see whether there was any water at all in the socks or the shoes afterwards. And my feet were absolutely completely bone dry, all the way up to the ankle in the gunk and the mud here. So the chances, again, if you're getting your feet this wet while you're on your mountain bike are pretty minimal. So if it can survive this, it can survive anything. These are your typical conditions here in the Peak District. What I noticed on this Patreon ride this weekend was that at least three or four other riders already had the same pair of shoes on and you can't really beat proper mountain bikers given their review and every person I spoke to said they were, these shoes were the best purchase that they'd ever made. I also found that they were very, very sticky on the pedals, much akin to the North Wave, but obviously these are waterproof and I never had any issues with my feet slipping off the pedals at any point at all, which is probably down to the proprietary Adidas sticky grip underneath. So to summarize the actual shoes, absolutely 100% I would recommend you buy these shoes. My feet are absolutely toasty warm. No water at all, not even a slight bit. I have got waterproof socks on anyway, but very, very recommended. So if you're thinking of getting some new mountain bike shoes, super grippy, comfortable, feel like I've got trainers on, and these are absolutely guaranteed. A little quick tip here before I show you how to get some money off on these shoes. If you've got a onesie with a little buckle through, you can push it through the laces here. I really do wish that these shoes didn't have laces in the first place as they makes it a little bit harder to clean them. A lot of road shoes have a wire and twist system, which I think would have been much better or even a zip and Velcro system. To summarize, this really is one of the best winter mountain bike shoes you can buy. 
extremely comfortable, very waterproof. Your feet won't overheat with the breathable Gore-Tex lining in there. The grips are extremely sticky, meaning you won't have any slip-offs on your pedals or no more bleeding shins. And they just look really rather cool. With many mountain bikers out there on the trail, I'm noticing more and more people are using these shoes. You can't really get a better incentive than when real riders are using them in all weather conditions and terrains. By visiting Adidas website, you can get 30% off by signing up to their newsletter. In essence, do I recommend these shoes? Absolutely. <laughs>